Hey yo, what's good, Jod Stinger? And today we are continuing the series of me breaking down how I do stuff in my beats. And today I'm going to be breaking down how I mix my drums. So let's just get right to it. Now this tutorial is going to be relatively short because most of the reason why my drums sound good isn't because of mixing, it's mostly because of sound selection. So right now I'll throw up a couple of drum kits that I use on a daily basis and that have some really high quality and unique sounds. So what I'm going to do for this tutorial is I'm just going to break down each drum sound. So let's start with the 808. For the mixing on my 808, I just have my kick side chain to the 808 with a limit. And the way I do that is I just select the kick, right click this little arrow down here and hit sidechain to this track. And then after that, you just go into the compressor section of the limiter, right click on sidechain and then hit kick. And then usually I like to have my threshold right around here, but I brought it down a little bit for this beat because the 808 was super overbearing. Also, if I feel like my 808 isn't hitting hard enough, I'll throw on a fruity fast distortion and I'll turn down the mix a little bit to about 15%. All right, so now let's go into the kick. The only thing that I have on my kick is a fruity soft clipper. And that yet again is attributed to the sound selection. This kick that I use in pretty much every single one of my beats just works with everything and it needs little to no mixing except for the soft clipper and then for the clap and snare i just straight up don't have anything sometimes if i'm toying around with a new sound i'll throw on an eq to take out some harsh frequencies and sometimes i'll also throw on fresh air just to boost the highs a little bit and make it more noticeable and for the hats yet again i have nothing to change the actual sound of the hi-hat but i do have on this effect tricks and same for the open hat and same for all of the perks like i said my drum mixing is very very minimalistic and it's all attributed to sound selection so if you're not really liking the way your drums are hitting or you're just stuck in the mixing process i suggest finding some high quality drum sounds first and that may solve the problem so that is going to pretty much cover how i mix my drums hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial and learned something new if you have any questions please feel free to throw them in the comments down below and i will do my best to answer them also consider subscribing as i post four tutorials every week two long ones and two short ones other than that that's going to be it peace